say the right words, do the same right acts, going to kirtans, bhajans, spiritual festivals. But the dedication is different. The dedication to freedom. That's a different story. And if you remember, I talked about it, I think it was on day second or third, that at the base of Himalaya, there's thousands of people. But when you want to climb all the way to the peaks of Mount Everest, and as you're climbing up this spiritual ladder, very little people are able to get to the very top. At the very top, when you get to the peaks and you look around, there's nobody around you. You're all alone by yourself. Because of the effort, dedication, the hardship, this path requires to come to the truth of who we are. You have to be very focused and dedicated. Find the right teacher with the right teachings and sticking to it, not jumping from one thing to another. You do it in early stages. But then as you get older and you get closer, the sense of urgency gets stronger. And that needs to be there. That sense of urgency is important because the sense of urgency becomes a very powerful desire. And that desire becomes like the horses that carrying the chariot. So that sense gets stronger. Sense of urgency. The time is passing by and you're missing out. And you're getting older and you're still stuck in your memory, your thoughts, which are your emotional baggages and traumas. They're all in the mind. And what the mind does is accumulates and brings out all these hidden fears that are not really looked at and uses a modern excuse to amplify this fear and project it into future. So you're haunted by your fears and anxiety and it brings depression. You get depressed. And by not being trained correctly, not having the right teachings, what we do is we're looking for comfort in the utter world. We're looking for peace, love, equilibrium in the world, which is never able to give us that. So consequently, your image and your idea of fifth dimensional consciousness becomes an ideology of your image of security and balance. Is your idea that you're projecting what fifth dimension and fifth dimensional consciousness should be, which you're projecting an ideal situation based on your personal experience. Are you with me? Are you here? You hear me? If you have a question, just keep your question, write it on a piece of note, and you can ask me later. We'll get into it. But right now, I'm just going to explain more things to you.
So what do we do there to start? What's there to do? What do we have to do? What's the solution? How do I become free? You have to make freedom your priority. That has to be your priority, period. Nothing else could be your priority. Nothing else could be as important to you as freedom. Everything else, like what few days ago I said, I think it was last Wednesday at the Academy, awareness must be your priority. It means everything should be sacrificed for awareness and awareness should never be compromised for anything else ever that kind of attitude and mentality and in that type of attitude and mentality fear will come because there are times you have to give, give away. You have to spend money on this. You have to give away certain lifestyle for it. You have to let go of certain people that you're attached to. And ultimately, you have to let go of your body. At the very end, your friend that you've been with for 70, 80 years, it will betray you. It will give you the finger. Your body will give you the finger. But you have to, before your body tells you, fuck you, because it will do that. If you haven't seen it around you happening to people and it hasn't happened to you, I guarantee it will happen to you 100%. I promise you. There's no way your body lives forever. Your body's going to fail you. So your best friend that you've been in it is going to give you the finger. If it hasn't done it yet, it will do it if it hasn't failed you but you have people around you that it happened to them they got cancer they lost body parts they had to go to surgeries they had to go to a bunch of operations chemotherapy a lot of suffering because the body gave it gave up or they died young But you have to be dedicated. That's the number one thing. And make that your priority. And start to wake up to the truth of who you are. And realize that you don't find any kind of security in the world you're in. Zero. It's only the illusion of security, my friend, that you're getting. It's only an illusion. That's all it is. So the price you have to pay is learning how to detach yourself. Get in the habit of it of letting go of things.